If you have not got to that level where the word of God becomes your practice unconsciously, you still need to do so much. And even if you have gotten there, you still need to keep doing it. Sometimes, now, you have relationships with the word of God. Number one, read it. Can you say read? The first relationship you will have with the word is read. Revelation chapter 1, in verse 3, say, Blessed is he that readeth of the word of this prophecy. Number one, read it. Number two, study. I think 2 Timothy 2.15, study. Psalms 1, from verse um, 3, there about, say, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and on his law he doth meditate day and night, meditate on the word. You read, you study, you meditate. The next relationship you're going to have is memorize. That is how you commit the word to your mind. And it's like encoding. It's like programming. You begin to think the word. You begin to think the thoughts of God. Unconsciously, if you have not got to that level where the word of God becomes your practice unconsciously, you still need to do so much. And even if you have gotten there, you still need to keep doing it. So you read, you study, you memorize, all right? You meditate, you memorize, then you do. One of the easiest um, two to memorization for me is to write it out. This is the Bible. The Bible is the Bible. But I write out that verse out and it becomes my preoccupation. These 40 days of fasting, the reason why we're having you to read a chapter every day is to get you on this pathway. Read, if you read five chapters, Mondays to Friday, if you read three chapters every day and five chapters during weekends, you will finish your Bible in one, one year. Are you listening? If you read ten chapters every day, you will finish it in four months. Hallelujah. If you read 20 chapters every day, you will finish it in two months. If you read 40 every day, you will finish the Bible every month. Your life will become like that, those trees by the river of life that bring forth fruit, 12 kinds of fruits every month. You will not remain the same. But the deception is the anointing. Alright? The anointing needs to grow but the spirit of the believer needs to grow. So we have a strong spirit wielding a strong anointing. Don't always go for the bailout of the anointing. You will be robbed somewhere. And there is a phase of life you will get to that the anointing may not be present. It is your human spirit that has faith inside and the just shall live by his faith. I don't know if you understand what I'm talking about. And it will take you time. And because it will take time, the best time to start was many years ago. The next time you should be on it is now. Tomorrow is late. Would you please rise up? Shows the ancient path. Lead us along. It a highway we want to the full steps of cheese. A true Israelite in whom there is no guile. 